Do you believe in the power of dreams, visions, and ideas? Yes. 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 Many of you. Contest chair, fellow members, and most welcome guests. I passionately believe in the power of dreams and ideas. Why? Because I believe it is the single most powerful force that exists in the universe. Something that changes lives, can change entire countries, and can bring people together as one. 20 years ago, I was a very shy kid in a tough high school. My parents were distant. The teachers didn't like me. And I was an easy prey for the bullies. And so, I had a couple of options. Despair, cry, and fall by the wayside. Or to escape. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to escape? I was. And I choose to escape in the realm of ideas and in the realm of dreams. Books became my escape valve. I bought so many different topics, chemistry, science, paleontology, I would devour them all. And this fueled my ambition to make something out of myself that eventually would lead me to United Kingdom's shore a couple of years later. The power of dream changed my life. Four years ago, I was able to see this power at work in a completely different setting, as the most amazing chapter of my Toastmaster journey opened up. It was above a pub in central London with two other guys, Terry and Fahad. And we were discussing our vision about launching a new Toastmaster club. And I said to them, guys, we're going to build the best Toastmaster Club in London. We're going to have the best speakers, the best meetings, the best marketing materials. We will be the best ever. This is the reaction from my friend. They saw that I was a little bit eccentric, but it might be. Because it was just the three of us, the bottom part. And no, 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 no. I wasn't drunk. It was only 7 o'clock in the evening. And had you been in that room, you too would have felt exactly the same. Florian has blown up a fuse. He's nuts. He's crazy. It's never going to happen. It's impossible. You're not alone, though. Everybody else in the entire Toastmaster community in London sought the same. One year after this meeting, the club members unanimously voted for the club to meet every single Tuesday evening. Two years after that meeting, we had become one of the largest clubs in Europe. And some people said, oh, that legendary Toastmaster Club in London, London Victorian, I'd love to be a guest there one day. What this, this story teaches me is that leadership and the power of dreams and ideas goes hand in hand, like two sides of the same coin. And it is no coincidence that the leaders we remember the most in history all had a powerful dream and a powerful vision to put forward. Not always very good sometimes, but most of the time it was a very good one. And this inspires me to take a step back and reflect, especially here in Athens, as we sit in this room under the watchful eye of the gods of the Olympus. Why could we achieve together? Why could you achieve if you unleashed the power of dreams? Those masters, where leaders are made, supposedly, and where dreamers, the leaders can turn the, dr the dreamers and the leaders can unite to create something powerful together. Wouldn't it be amazing to surpass the achievement of the giants whose shoulders we sit upon? Earlier today, my eyes got wet in the opening ceremony. Europe, united, 
<laughs> and when I look back at the achievement of European history, what we did as a civilization, the invention we created, the dreams we turned into reality, electricity, the Industrial Revolution, beautiful arts and sculpture, I'm tempted to say, couldn't we do even more? Couldn't we unleash the power of dream and achieve even more as a continent? Wouldn't it be cool to see the flag of your country fluttering in Mars, pink skies and ankles on its red rocks? Wouldn't it be amazing to end poverty? Wouldn't it be amazing to bring peace to our planet, perhaps to lead it? in the new areas of peace and prosperity. Sounds impossible, you might be saying. Just like it was impossible, not even be told four years ago. But nothing is impossible if you unleash the power of dreams and ideas. A poem says, to risk putting an idea or a dream forward is to risk its loss. I disagree. Putting your dreams and your ideas forward is the first step towards turning them into reality. My friend, my fellow Europeans, let us turn the power of dreams. Let us unleash the power of dreams and achieve the impossible together. Got this chair. This Toastmaster year, while combining Club Growth Direct with all things, I'm pretty proud to have already the entire Game of Thrones series of books, which was amazing, and mu the books are much better than the series. <laughs> so you're still holding on to your dream that one day you will read all these books? <laughs> yes! I'm hoping so. I will just be able to put them in my brain, download, that would be not nice and easy. Efficiency. The eternal optimist. I saw a hand raised with a question, yes. Yeah. I'm just curious, because when I hear like, who are the best and the best and one of like, what these great leaders have been driven by like serving and yeah. having these big things. So I'm just kind of curious about your perception on on serving in Europe together kind of. Well there's there's nothing wrong with being with being the best and serving. And the only way you can be the best basically is to serve everybody. Because you can only move at the pace of the of the weakest person in the chain, basically. And in the case of London Victorian it was a case of putting it all together just debating the ideas and exactly what it meant to be the best and 
Together we did it. One of the big things we did as a club was a mentoring program, and we even wrote a manual on how to mentor people, which is still a work in progress. And I'm pretty chuffed about it, really, because it's just all about making sure that even from their icebreaker onwards, people do great speeches, ideally. How do you define the best? I mean, there you can count numbers, you can count DCP yeah. points, you can... Uh, you can count books. Uh, <laughs> count books, uh, books finished, uh, energy in the room. The best can mean any, anything. I would say it's a, bit, it's a bit of everything. I mean, in terms of the energy in the room, we really tried to get the energy level very high very early on. That was one thing. But the DCP points, it's just numbers. It's, a, it's not an end in itself, it's a mean to an end. And if you, as a club, want to have a high DCP score, it's all about getting these members to do their icebreakers, holding them and say, hey, put a speech request into Easy Speak, log on to Basecamp, do all of these things, do roles, we're going to support you. It's all about supporting the people. And then, naturally, you end up being 10, 10 DCP and some of those multiple times. It just happens naturally. Um, yes. You mentioned that Borrowed Dreams is the second most powerful board to the league. What's the first one? The, uh, the, the most powerful force. That was the most powerful force. That's the most okay, powerful force. <laughs> What's your biggest dream now? My biggest dream now? <laughs> Reverse mm. Brexit? Woo! <laughs> 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 Have a Toastmaster club. I mean, my club is East London. We've got all races, all creeds, all religions, and we can see and see that in this room. It's all united around one idea, and that idea is Toastmasters International. And it is something that is lacking in politics at the moment, which is now like, hmm, could we unite mankind around a single idea? I mean, in my view, it, conquering the stars could be that big idea, but for other people, it could be something else. And that's the main thing. What big ideas could, could we find? What big vision could we find to make it happen? So, like, sorry, in contrast to conquering stars, would be fighting aliens. This kind of idea that you might <laughs> Potentially. I mean, I'm not saying it will or will not happen, but when you have a common enemy, it has always united countries. I mean, I'm from France originally, but I live in the UK now, and France and the UK built each other by fighting each other. And that's it even crap up in the language when you say in French you're feeling like you're fleeing the battlefield like an Englishman, you have to reverse expression in English, you're fleeing like a Frenchman, which I find fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the back. A smaller part than a question. As we all know the history, there's always been conflict. Yep. Alexander the Great, the Mughals. Someone has always been dying. But let's be honest. Were those times better than what they are now, or will it be better in the future? Isn't world, world peace an ideology which never existed and maybe never exists? But we can always, as you said, be the best of who we think yeah. we can be. Hi, I mean, it's, it's, it's an idea. I think we're out of time. So, uh, do we have the first contestant ready to come back? A sergeant in arms will check. Yeah. <laughs>